Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, another one of my passions besides magic is uh, cooking. So I figured I, I'm going to cook my uh, stepdad something to eat for work tomorrow. And we're, right now I'm making what he taught me to make, uh, corned beef stew, a uh, Ghanaian cor uh, corned beef stew. And uh, it's pretty good. We serve it over white rice, and it's very good. So I got the ingredients here to make it, which is uh, some garlic, onion, jalapeno. We usually use habanero, but I have no habanero, so I'm using jalapeno. Tomatoes, eggs, some tomato paste, corned beef, and oil. And then I already had the uh, white rice cooking, so I figured that I would just give a brief instruction of what I do to cook it. Excuse me. Yeah, so uh, here we go. Alright, so what I do first is I heat it up on a medium high and I just add oil just to cover the bottom of the pan. And that should be good enough. And then I let it heat up. Okay, now that the oil is heated up, I'm going to add in the garlic and the, just basically everything all at once. I'm trying to heat down just to a medium. And now I'm going to let that cook for a while. At the same time, I'm going to add some spices to it. Right now I only have two spices. I have adobo, which is just basically salt and pepper with other spices in it. So I add that. And then I add some cayenne pepper. Uh, it's not really that hot, but I also like to add other peppers, which is really hot. I get from my uh, stepdad gets from the African market, but we don't have any of that right now, so this is just what we'll have to do. You can also add hot sauce to it, which will make, which, uh, we'll make it hot, but this and the uh, jalapeno should do good. So now you just mix that all in. And you just let these cook for a while. Okay, now that's been cooking for about five minutes. Now it's time to add the corned beef in. I got a can of corned beef here. Just opened it. You only use half of it. You don't use the whole thing. So you just cut off the top half of it. Put that in, and then you can go a little bit more in to uh, get what you think is half of it. And then that's it. You still got half left. You can save that for some bacon and eggs or corned beef and eggs or whatever you want to do with it. It was some other rice or whatever, or you can make this again sometime. So, I'm just going to go put this in the fridge. Now you're just going to let this cook. Uh, it will soften up as it uh, gets heated up, so it's not so hard to uh, mush into it. But, uh, so give it about five minutes, and then you just keep on stirring, and it will soften up. And it will look like this. So now it's all softened up. It's cooked in there, it's looking good. So after that, now you want to get yourself two eggs, which I'm just going to grab over here. I'm just going to crack them in there. Make sure there's no shell in there either. You just throw the eggshells away. And now you just let them cook for a little bit, about a minute. And then that's when you start stirring it in there. Okay, so you've been letting it cook for about a minute. Now you start to stir the eggs in there until they're fully cooked. You don't want no half-assed cooked eggs. So it starts to look like baby mush right now. Believe me, it tastes good. There's only one more step after this. So just keep stirring until the eggs are cooked. Okay, now the eggs are cooked. It's time for the final step, which you have a half a can of tomato paste. It's just a small can, hang on a second, like this, just a small can, this is Hunt. You just want to use half of it and then dilute it a little bit with water. So you just pour all that in, and you mix it up. And what you can do, is you can go ahead and add just an extra cap full of oil, not too much. Just put it in there. And also, just add a little tiny bit of water. And it will make it more loose. 
It's more like a stew. But this is what it basically looks like. And this is how I learned how to make it for my stepdad. So after this, I'm going to wait for the rice to get done cooking. I'll show you what it looks like after that. See, now you have the corned beef stew and then the white rice. So what you're going to do is, you're going to take the white rice and just pour some of it in the bowl. Of course. There you have some rice. Then you're going to take some of the corned beef. And you're just going to spoon it over, or fork it over since I got a fork. And just spread it all over the rice. That's just basically what you do. You know, nothing too fancy. It doesn't look like a culinary piece of art. But it's pretty good. And you just get a spoon. And you dig in. Enjoy. I love a piece of chicory sauce. So see y'all later. Peace.